Hi guys, it's Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I'm finally doing my weight loss update. I didn't get to do one in April because we were away on vacation. So now that it's May, I figured to combine the two and just kind of give you a heads up. And I'm going to change this a little bit because as you could tell from the title, this is going to be my weight loss update slash insanity weekly vlog experience and results because I have just completed week one of the whole insanity craze but before I get into that I just want to give you a brief background for those of you maybe that are new to this channel maybe because you want to see what the updates and results from week one are for myself um, I started this weight loss journey in January and I made a conscious decision to have a lifestyle change as far as my eating habits goes and to start with that because my advice has always been exercise and I figured if I can change how I eat and just eat healthier I wanted to see how much that I could lose or how much it could change my body by eating more having more of a clean eating lifestyle. Because of that I was able to lose 12 pounds. When I started I was my heaviest in a very very long time and I'm really embarrassed to say but I was 152 and then I got as low as 140 um, since January. At some point in April I hit a plateau and I wasn't going any further below that. I had mentioned in March that in April's vlog I will would be in my 130s and I have not hit the 130 mark yet. So we went on vacation and I really fell off and I told you guys I was doing 30 day shred and the six weeks and Six, uh, six pack ab and six weeks by Jillian Michaels and I was completely honest with you guys that work out, working out is my vice and I was not keeping up with it. I could not do a consistent 30 days at all, at all. As short as the workouts were at 20 and 30 minutes, I could not keep up with it or not that I couldn't keep up with it but it was just not motivated um, and that's all on me. So yeah, so that told me something right there that I hit a plateau and then I ended up between April and now I gained back three pounds. So that made me kind of upset with myself and I knew something had to give and I was having a long talk with my friend Jamie um, about how I wanted to go back to the gym but I just can't afford to right now um, being a stay-at-home mom of three kids. So she suggested to try Insanity and I've seen the whole Insanity craze since last year. I've seen so many amazing results but I'm just not motivated. You know, like when you see infomercials, like, wow, maybe that can work for me. And you're like really thinking, maybe I should consider this. And then you make up a million and one excuses not to. And that's what I've always done. So my friend told me, hey, I'll let you, I'll let you borrow it. So I was like, okay, that lifted a weight off my shoulders thinking, okay, I don't have to, um, you know, put out all this money to buy this DVD and I don't know if I'm gonna stick to it because I have tried P90X in the past, just didn't stick with it, so um, yeah, I was kind of skeptical of how I would keep up with insanity. So I, after that conversation with my friend, I said, you know what, I wanna do this, I need to do this, I'm going to do this. Just started changing my thoughts, just turning them completely positive because I've always been negative about working So before out. I get into my whole experience with week one of Insanity, I just want to say that this is a collaboration video and will continue to be a collaboration weekly video uploaded every Tuesday with two of my good friends here on uh, YouTube and I, it's just by coincidence that I found out that Tasha from Tugs at Your Heart who is a mommy of two, um, has started this insanity journey and is two weeks ahead of me. So she's going into week four, currently in week four. And then I found out that Keely from Keely and Cadence, who is a mommy of a pretty little girl, she had just started it the same day that I did. So we're in the same week, starting week two this week. So I thought, why not collaborate on doing weekly updates, not only to share our experience with each other and keep each other motivated but to motivate you guys that are watching honestly it. if i can do it seriously you can do it i know it sounds so cliche you see that in all the infomercials but it's for real like when you have that drive to do something and you stick to it and especially if you see results it just motivates you more um there's no stopping so this is what the insanity dvd looks like i borrowed it from my friend like i said and the first DVD you would do is the, the fit test. Um, and basically they're just um, a compilation of different exercises that are used throughout the whole um, Insanity workout 
to give you an idea of where you're at at starting point day with one. With this set comes a sheet um, which lists all the exercises that you do such as switch kicks, power jacks, power knees and so forth um, and you're timed and you have to um, dock how much you can do within that a lot of time of each exercise and I just wrote it on and a journal. Actually I came across on an Instagram page that told me about an app and the app is called Instatime. It basically looks like this and it's just um, a checklist of uh, what you do and you can log in your results for that day, your starting weight, your measurements and so forth. So that first day I did the fit test, I took pictures um, for day one of myself, I took measurements, I insert vlogs at the end of this video of like my thoughts after each exercise and maybe in the future I'll show myself doing some exercises so you can get an idea. First day, which is really hard because I have not worked out in so so long um, but I felt really good. I felt good. I said, okay, this is the start of the first day um, and I really sweat. Basically, it's um, high intense cardio and strength training exercises Just some crazy workouts that work out every area of your body you don't need any equipment you don't even need a mat if you don't if you don't have one uh, you don't need weights all you need is yourself um, and your your own you know motivation and just a small area where you can work out in front of your TV. Each workouts after day one's fit tests are about 40 minutes long, roughly. I was shocked after day two that I completed it. Then day three came along and completed it. And day four. And then as the days went on, I kind of got addicted because I sweat like crazy. I have not ever sweat like that six days in a row. N nor have I ever worked out six days consecutively, ever, 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 ever. I had sweat everywhere. If you watch the infomercial, they say, I had sweat in my eyes, I had sweat in my ears, I had sweat here and there. It's you really do. awesome about it and the, the guy that's um, doing the workouts or the coach, uh, Sean T, is that he tells you to go at your own pace. He tells you to take breaks if you need it, to take a breather um, and, and if you watch it, they're all going at their own pace because it's all men and women and some of them are going like crazy at it and some of them, you know, as further as you go into the workout for that day, you get more and more tired but you really have to push yourself and as he says in the videos, he says dig deeper, dig deeper and you really do. A lot do. of you guys or personal friends of mine told me on Facebook and Instagram, um, it's hard but you have to go at your own pace and don't give up and I took all of that into consideration what they were telling me and I went in with that mindset, okay, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with Shanti and you know the whole gang of um, fit bodies in his video. This, I'm just starting this, go at my own pace, keep breathing um, and push through it. And that's what I just kept telling myself every day. And this is coming from somebody who is not that athletic never was into sports aside from skiing if you can consider that a sport. So if I can stick with this for the first week, seriously, you can do it too because it is addicting to, to know that you're, when you're sweating and you're feeling the sweat and you're feeling the burn and you're feeling sore the next few days as you go and it just kind of becomes this whole, you just get hooked on the adrenaline and just hooked on the high, if you will, like that you get after every workout. How do I make time to work out with three kids? I usually do it. I'm not a morning person, so I have not worked out in the morning yet, um, but I've been doing it every day, either before I cook dinner or after I cook dinner, and after I cook dinner and eat dinner and digest my dinner, either before or after, just depends. Yes. You're either working out with me or um, doing something nearby me just keeping them preoccupied and it's funny because they're always motivating they're like mommy you're gonna work out today or mommy you're gonna do exercise and they like to get on my mat they like to put in the DVD for me so they get involved and I tell them to remind me and they they just like like being my little coaches so that's the way that I am like able to work out and without making excuses for myself because I have the kids because I just get them involved. and as far as uh, my goal so my starting weight like I said was one 52 at the start in January and then I got down to 140 gain back three and My starting weight when I started um, insanity was 140 so at the end of week one. I actually gained under 
a pound um, from when I started it um, on day one at 143. So I was already prepared because some people had told me don't be surprised if the scale doesn't go down because you're actually building muscle and muscle means more than, more than fat. Um, so don't let that be your, don't get stuck on the scale, go on how your clothes fit, go on measurements. So I'm really, really happy that I did measurements like my friend suggested from the start of day one. And surprisingly, when I weighed, when I not only weighed myself, but I did my measurements yesterday because you work out for six days straight, Monday through Saturday, and Sundays is your day off or your 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 off day. So um, that's when I did my weigh-in and my measurements. And when I measured myself, I lost two inches in my waist, one inch in my chest, one and a half, um, on my butt. went into the store just randomly and I tried on a pair of pants There were two sizes smaller than what I was normally wearing and Because I couldn't believe that the measurements were right. I said this has got to be wrong. Is this for real? And when I put on those pants, they were loose. The two sizes smaller than me were loose Those are my, my results for week one and I want my um, goal weight. My goal weight would be my ultimate goal weight would be to hit 125, but if I can hit 130, I would be really excited about that. My, my ultimate goal weight would be 125. So my weight is still the same, but I did lose four and a half inches overall in one week. So that is a huge motivation to see where is week two going to take me. We'll be me. posting weekly updates every Tuesday, myself and Tasha from Tugs at Your Heart and Keely from Keely and Cadence. I highly suggest you check out their channels down below and join them on their journeys and I'm sure that they will motivate you just as much as myself and like I said if I can do it you can seriously do it you have to want to do it you have to um, it's really about what you want and how bad that you want it because honestly I didn't want it that bad enough before and now after completing this week one it's just a huge huge motivating uh, factor and I'm just kind of hooked and I really not only do I want to stick with it, but I will. So I will it. insert clips at the end of this video. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you have done it, what were your results or any other motivating tips that you can share with me for myself or anybody watching. And I will be back next week with another update. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I just did day one of the Insanity workout. My friend Jamie lent it to me. I hope I can stick with it. I will stick with it. I will. I honestly sweat more than I did with, than I have been with the Jillian Michaels 30 day shred and 6 week ab workout. And I only did the fit test. So, and I modified it a little bit so I can not overdo it. So, tomorrow, day two, I'm gonna have my little helper here, Malia, remind me, right? Because she was reminding me all day today. Right? Thank you, Mia. High five. Okay. Take one shake a day. I just finished day two of Insanity and wow. <laughs> I have not sweat that much in a long time. I definitely did never stre stretch sweat like that when I did the Jillian Michaels. And yeah, I didn't overdo it because a lot of people were telling me on Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, just to go at my own pace. So I took that into consideration. I didn't want to hurt myself so day three tomorrow oh my gosh oh she just finished day three of insanity it's really insane i never sweat this much in my life so day four tomorrow i just finished day four of insanity and it was a cardio recovery so it was really good because um a lot of stretching but i still sweat surprisingly so day four i just completed day five of insanity day five yeah it was pure cardio today and oh, it was like the hardest day to keep up with and I can't believe I worked out for five days in a row. That has never happened in like years. So I'm proud of myself. Week one and complete. I can't believe I did it. I'm going to do a vlog hopefully tomorrow and weekly till I finish this thing and show the results. I feel good. I'm tired, but I feel good that I made it through the first week.